today's video i am going to explain a problem from functions of complex variables so here we have to show that u is harmonic and also we have to find the harmonic conjugate for u the harmonic conjugate will be v so what is given u is given as e power 2x see here what is given e is equal to e power 2x into this is x cos 2y minus y sin 2y in order to show it is harmonic it should satisfy the laplace equations so what are laplace equations do square u by do x square plus do square u by do y square should be equal to 0 so i make a derivative with respect to x i am differentiating with respect to x on both sides so this is our first function and this is our second function so first i am going to differentiate with respect to x that is 2 into e power 2 x and i am leaving the second equation that is x cos 2 y minus y sine this is 2 y and the next thing is i am leaving this uh, first function and i am going to differentiate with respect to x for x it is 1 so this is cos 2 y and see this is equation number 1 and now if I differentiate again with respect to x see here again if I make a so this will be first function and this will be second function see for this one 2 2 is a 4 that is 4 into e power 2x I am leaving the second function as it is that is x cos 2y minus y sin 2y and now I am leaving this first function as 2 into e power 2x and if I make a derivative with respect to x this is 1 and cos 2y remains and here if you observe so for e power 2x this is 2 into e power 2x and this is cos 2y this is cos 2y so dou square u by dou x square value is equal to so if i take 2x common then this will be 4x into cos 2y this is minus 4y sin 2y <clears throat> this is 2 cos 2y this is 2 cos 2y and again this is uh, 2 cos 2y so the next thing is so we have to make a derivative with respect to y so what is given so from the question u is given as see here from the question what is given u is given as e power 2x this is x cos 2y minus y signed this is 2y now i am going to make a derivative with respect to y this time so with respect to y so this will be dou u by dou y value is equal to so e power 2x is li like this and for cos 2y this will be minus 2 sin 2y minus 2 sin 2y see here got it and x will be as it is like that and next this is first function and this is second function for y it is 1 this is sin 2 I am writing and again if I leave y here so this will be minus 2 cos 2y so this will be minus 2 cos 2y so that again if I make a derivative with respect to y once again so this will be dou square u by dou y square is equal to so e power 2x will be like that so for 2 into 2 this will be 4 minus 4x this is cos 2y and this will be 2 cos 2y and for y this is 1 so this is 2 cos 2y and again if I leave y here so this will be 2 into 2 so this is 2 sin minus 2 sin so this will be plus 2 sin so this will be 2 2 is a 4 and this is how we have to make a derivative with respect to x as well as y so the value here dou square u by dou y square is equal to if I take e power 2x common so this will be this will be minus 4x cos 2y minus 2 cos 2y minus this is 2 cos uh, 2y and this is 2 2 4 y into this is sin 2y now according to the Laplace equation so what are Laplace equations so according to the Laplace equations we have to prove that according to the Laplace equations this is dou square u by dou x square plus dou square u by dou y square we have to check so we have to substitute both the values what is dou square u by dou x square so this is our dou square u by dou x square so dou square u by dou x square plus dou square u by dou y y square is equal to e power 2x i am writing the whole thing that is 4x 
इंटू कॉस टू वाई माइनस फोर वाई इंटू दिस इज साइन टू वाई प्लस दिस इज टू कॉस टू वाई प्लस दिस इज टू कॉस टू वाई एंड द नेक्स्ट वन हियर इज दो स्क्वेयर यू बाई डो वाई स्क्वेयर सो आई टू कीप आर टू एक्स कॉमन हियर आई एम कंटिन्यूइंग दैट इज माइनस फोर एक्स दिस इज कॉस टू वाई माइनस टू कॉस टू वाई माइनस दिस इज टू कॉस टू वाई प्लस दिस इज फोर वाई इंटू साइन टू वाई सो दीज आर द वैल्यूज एंड नाउ सी हियर If you observe these two, this is minus two cos two y, and this is plus cos two y. And here, if you observe this one, this is uh, plus cos two y, and this is uh, minus cos two y. And if you see, this is plus four x. This is plus four x cos, and this is minus four x. And if you see, this is plus four y. So this is plus four y, and this is plus. Now I can cancel plus minus plus minus. See here. So after cancelling, so what we got? Two square u by two x square. So see here, we got the value as zero. Therefore, two square u by two x square plus two square u by two y square is equal to zero. This is Laplace equation. Therefore, we conclude that u. What is u here? This is e power two x into this is x cos two y minus y sine two y is harmonic. So we have to. Show the Laplace equation is zero in order to show that it is harmonic. So now I am going to use Milne-Thomson method in order to find the conjugate. So I have to find the harmonic conjugate of u. So the harmonic conjugate of u is nothing but v. Is nothing but v. Now for that I am using Milne-Thomson method. According to the Milne-Thomson method. According to the Milne-Thomson method, see here f of z is equal to. So f of z is equal to this is u plus i v. So if I make a derivative with respect to x, f dash of z is equal to this is do u by do x plus i into this is do v by do x. So now see here, I am using CR equations. According to the CR equations, Cauchy-Riemann equations. According to the Cauchy-Riemann equations, do u by do x is equal to this is do v by do y, and again do u by do y is equal to this is minus do v by do x. So I have to transform this do v by do x as minus do u by do y, and so f dash of z is equal to see here f dash of z is equal to this is do u by do x in place of do v by do x. I am writing. Minus do u by do y, so this is minus i. Now I have all the values do u by do x and do u by do y. So what is do u by do x value? So do u by do x value is like this. See, I am substituting f dash of z is equal to. So now if I substitute the value from equation one, so do u by do x value is nothing but two times of. So this is e power two x. Into this will be x cos two y minus y sine two y plus this is e part two x into this is cos two y. See here, it's very very clear here. Do u by do x value I copied here, and the next one minus i times of do u by do y. So what is do u by do y? Do u by do y value is also I'm showing here. So this is. This will be e power two x times of this is minus minus two x into sine two y. This is minus sine two y minus two y into cos two y. So I have copied this do u by do y value. So after substituting do u by do x and do u by do y, now according to Milne-Thomson method, I have to replace. X by Z and Y by zero. So in place of X, if I write Z, and in place of Y, if I write zero, <coughs> then see what happens here. So F dash of Z is equal to. See now F dash of Z value is equal to. This is two into e power two Z, and this is cos zero one. So this value is Z. So this is zero, and see cos zero is one. 
so this is e power 2z into 1 and this is minus i times of minus i times of this is e power 2z sin 0 0 sin 0 0 y is 0 so this value is 0 so f dash of z is equal to f dash of z is equal to if i take this uh, e power 2z common this will be 2z plus 1 this is 2z plus 1 now f dash of z is equal to f dash of z is equal to this is 2z plus 1 into e power 2z now if i integrate on both sides now this is the integration so if i integrate on both sides and this will be u and this will be v so the integration of uv method by paths method is nothing but so u we have to leave v we have to integrate minus the derivative of u integral v dx whole dx so this is the formula so in this formula if i substitute then f dash f of z value is is equal to u i am leaving that is 2z plus 1 we have to integrate that is e power 2z by 2 minus derivative of u the derivative of u is nothing but for z this is 1 so 2 remains and again integration so e power 2z by 2 into dz so this will be f of uh, z is equal to this is 2z plus 1 into e power 2z by 2 minus if i cancel this and again uh, do an integration so this will be e power 2z by 2 plus some c so f of z is equal to if i multiply this will be 2z into e power 2z by 2 and if i multiply then this will be e power 2z by 2 and again this is e power 2z by 2 plus c now if i cancel even this 2 then f of z will be z into e power 2z so this is the analytic function plus c some c some constant c therefore the analytic function therefore the analytic function is nothing but we got the analytic function as f of z is equal to this is z into e power 2z plus some c now we know that f of z is equal to see here z is nothing but see f of z is equal to what is z this is x plus i y into e power this is 2 times of x plus i y so see here this is x plus i y if i split this will be 2 x dot this is e power 2 y i see here this is x plus i y is this is e power 2 x and this can be written as cos 2 y plus i sin 2 y so as you all know that e power 2y i can be written as cos theta plus i sin theta now see here f of z is equal to f of z value is equal to this is e power 2x times of this is x plus i y into this is cos 2y plus i sin 2y so if i keep on multiplying see i'll, I'll split the real part and as well as the imaginary part so f of z is equal to this is e part 2x if i multiply this will be x cos 2y plus i times of x sin 2y if i multiply this is i y this is cos 2y i square this is minus y sin 2y see here the real part without i is x cos 2y and this one and here the imaginary part are these two so if i split or separate so f of z value is equal to e power 2x times of this is x cos 2y minus y sin 2y plus i times of this is e power 2x that is x sin 2y so these two plus this is y cos 2y so as you know that f of z is nothing but as you know that f of z is nothing but u plus i into v so the real part u is nothing but this one from the question that is e power 2x into this is x cos 2y minus y sin 2y and the imaginary part is e power 2x times of this one that is x sin 2y plus this is y cos 2y and the analytic function we got f of z as see here f of z is nothing but z into e power 2z so this is nothing but z into e power 2z plus c 
so these are all the three we got through milly thompson method see here f of x is from the question see it is e power e power 2x into x cos 2y minus y sin 2y so similarly so we showed that u is harmonic and again we got the harmonic conjugate and we got the analytic function using milnes thompson method see if you go through this one so it's also very simple first we have to make a double derivative with respect to x and double derivative with respect to y and again we have to show that the do square u by do x square value is zero so this is harmonic so we have to find the harmonic conjugate as v so as you know the same process and we used uh, cr equations in order to transform do v by do x as minus do u by do y and substituted and we replaced x by z and y by zero and again this is all the small integration so we got this z into e power 2 z as an analytic function and this is how we have to solve and please go through this video for once again if you don't understand and definitely you can solve by your own and this is the most most important question thank you so much for watching and staying till the end